All right, here we are. We are uh, at 11,714 feet. <laughs> and we were in the Beetle Kill. Uh, we, Rex was doing some podcasts on Beetle Kill, and he brought me up here to, well, we both did research. We came up to this elevation and we stopped and this cell service is so good up here that we were able to research beetle kill and uh, the different kind of uh, pine beetles coming through here mm -hmm. and the devastation uh, in not only in North America but worldwide and and this uh, death that we're looking at here pales in comparison to like some of the Canadian numbers. Their forests are 10 times more destruction than ours and in Colorado alone we have 4.3 million acres gone to these beetles and yeah. so when you uh, were coming out here Rex you were trying to get to the bottom of it what were some of your previous so first yeah what were some of your previous thoughts on what could be killing these trees combination of things I think it's a combination of the environment the atmosphere possibly the cloud seeding also, the possibility of UVC radiation or higher levels of radiation hitting the trees, causing them to die off in mass proportions. And I came out here um, a few weeks ago with Kristen, and we looked at some of the trees that were dead, and we didn't see beetle damage except for on one of them. We saw beetle damage on one of them. I said, okay, so that's really weird. We found it really weird. But coming back out here and looking at more of the trees and doing more research and talking to Diamond about how they move and, and you know they'll, they'll kind of go in this front where they'll, they'll eat a bunch of trees and then they'll move to the next gourmet buffet um, and I think the majority of these trees it could be the beetles now with that said I do want to just add to that I think that maybe if the environmental conditions weren't as warm the past 10 years I don't think it would be as bad but that could just be it is what it is it's natural uh, you know I mean it could be a, so anyway that's wild yeah I think that uh, it's definitely solar max had to do with this devastation kicking in uh, these beetles are mitigated by extreme cold so if it's extremely cold let's say minus 30 for a week that in this region this this beetle population would be dead but they happen to move through here some some of the warmest temperatures recorded over the last few decades. Yeah. So that in therein lies the problem. But we're headed to a cooling period. I mean, it's mid-August. We we're surrounded here by snow. There's snow at our elevation, like right over here. Where is it? I'm looking at it. Would you just look at it? There's a couple patches right there. Yeah. And then up on the ridge. And we're not even at high elevations. And we're far south here. Uh, in latitude we're in, right near the continental divide we're on it yeah, right there. in the south san juans so right at wolf creek pass and we bypass wolf creek pass we're i want to make a comment too yeah i feel much better coming back oh. out here with you diamond because looking at you know with, with the data that we've been presented recently you know seven to ten years we might not be able to grow many crops outside because of the weakening magnetosphere etc and then looking at these major tree die-offs, I'm thinking, you know, wow, that's, that's pretty spooky. But then talking to you and then looking at the data, I feel a lot better, man. I actually awesome. feel like, yeah, like I feel like I mean, look at this. Stuff. Look at how vibrant the new forest <laughs> wow. is out there, Rex. Let's go to a dispensary, dude. Look at the this forest awesome. out there. It's all regrowing. Yeah. And you're talking about the flowers coming up. Like and, a nursery. Yeah. If it's just the radiation, then the flowers shouldn't be growing like this. Yeah. Right? None of these wildflowers. Hello. <laughs> Cool, man. I'm excited. I, I feel good about that. And the Midwest looked beautiful, dude. The, mid, the Midwest looked gorgeous. Driving through Kansas and Nebraska, the farmlands out there looked amazing. A lot of them looked, they didn't look as, as mature as they should, but it was still extremely green out there. So that was good news, too. Yeah, it's good news that the weather broke. It was pouring earlier. And yeah, it just got nice on us. And so, beetle kill, beetle kill, beetle kill. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Subscribe, like, share. Be the change.
He stopped right behind that tree. Big boy. 